Chapter 6, Section 6, Composition of Functions. This will be part one of two notes. Composition basically is when you, the definition is when you take a function and you plug it into another function for the variable. For example, f of g of, g of x, that's how we pronounce that, means that you're going to take the entire g function and plug it into the f function and replace all the variables x. G of f of x takes the f function and plugs it into the g function and replaces all the everywhere, every single x. These two are not the same. f of g of x and g of f of x are actually going to have two separate solutions. So let's do an example. If f of x is negative 4x plus 9 and g of x is 2x minus 7, find f of g of x. What that means is I'm going to, since g is on the inside, I'm going to put it on the inside of the f function. I'm going to take the entire function and replace the x value in the f function, which gives me negative 4. And then instead of x, I'm going to go ahead and put in 2x minus 7 plus 9. As you can see, I replaced the x with the entire function. Now simplify. So this gives me negative 8x plus 28 plus 9, negative 8x plus 37 is f of g of x. Now, g of f of x just means I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to take the actual f function now and replace the x value in all of the g function. So I have 2 times, and then instead of x, I have negative 4x plus 9, minus 7. Distribute. So I have negative 8x plus 18 minus 7 gives me negative 8x plus 11, which is g of f of x. The functions remain the same. However, the solution of the compositions is different. Let's do another example. Given f of x is negative 6x plus 5 and g of x is negative 9x minus 11, find f of g of x. Since g is on the inside, we're going to take the entire g function and plug it into the f function. So I'm going to take this, replace x. So I have negative 6, and then instead of x, I'm going to put in negative 9x minus 11 plus 5. Simplify by distributing. So I have 54x plus 66 plus 5, which gives me 66 and 5 is 71, so 54x plus 71 is f of g of x. Now, given this function, let's go ahead and solve. So I'm going to find g of these two functions, g of f of x. So I'm going to take the entire f function, which is right here, replace the x value in the g function which gives me 4x squared minus 3x minus 9, and then we have a minus 3 at the end. Notice how I took the entire g function, or f function, and replaced it for the x in the g. Now, normally I would distribute to simplify, but there's nothing to distribute outside the parentheses, so we can go ahead and just combine like terms here. Negative 9 minus 3 is negative 12. So my solution is 4x squared minus 3x minus 12. That's g of f of x. Now we're going to come back to this in a little bit, so kind of remember that in a minute. We're going to come back to this slide. 5x minus 8, find f of 2. Now this is just when you are finding the value of a function, so you're just going to replace all the x values with 2 instead of x. So I have f of 2 equals 5 times 2. Replace your x with 2 minus 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. So f of 2 is actually just 2. Find g of negative 5. I'm going to take negative 5 and replace all the x's. 4 times negative 5 squared minus 3 times negative 5 minus 9. Now, a common mistake here is order of operations. Remember, we have to do the exponents first. So 4 times negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. Negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. 100 
plus 15 minus 9 gives me 106. So g of negative 5 is 106. Now find g of f of 3. Now look at the functions. If you remember, I told you we're going to come back to this problem. If I look at page 4 where I was at, do you remember how g of f of x is 4x squared minus 3x minus 12? We can now use that function, okay, g of f of x, we found with when these were the functions, was just 4x squared minus 3x minus 12, okay? And we solved that on page 4 of your notes. When you have this function and now a value, you can just use the function you solved for and plug in the number for all the variables. So I can actually just take that 3 and replace all of the x's and solve. So I have g of f of 3 equals 4 times 3 squared minus 3 times 3 minus 12, 4 times 9 minus 9 minus 12, 36 minus 9 minus 12, which is 15. So g of f of 3 is 15. Now, let's do another example. In this case, I, had, I first have to find f of g of x before I calculate f of g of negative 3. So I'm going to take the entire g function and I'm going to replace it in the x values. Now this, this one's a little more difficult because we do have a squared and we are squaring an actual function. So I have 4 times x minus 3 squared minus 3 times x minus 3 minus 9. Now to square of an actual function like this, we're going to have to write x minus 3 times x minus 3 minus, and I can go ahead and distribute this now. So negative 3x plus 9 minus 9. And so now I'm going to FOIL. I have to get rid of all my multiplication first, so I'm going to go ahead and FOIL these. So I have 4x times x is x squared, minus 3x minus 3x is minus 6x plus 9 minus 3x. And now I can go ahead and cancel these out since they're not in parentheses, plus 9 minus 9. And now distribute your 4. So I have 4x squared minus 24x plus 36 minus 3x. Combine like terms. 3x and 24x gives me negative 27x. So I have 4x squared minus 27x plus 36. Now that I have that function, f of g of x, I can go ahead and plug in negative 3 and solve. So I could put in, use that, f of g of negative 3, use this function that we just found, f of g of x, and so we have 4 times negative 3 squared minus 27 times negative 3 plus 36. Make sure you square first. Order of operations, exponents come first. So 4 times 9. And now I can multiply this. So plus 81 plus 36. So I have 36 plus 81 plus 36. So 72 plus 81 would be 153. So f of g of negative 3 is 153. Now, there is another way to do this without actually finding f of g of x. And if that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and show you. You can always solve it like this, or if you want to use this other method, you can do that. So I have the exact same problem, f of g of negative 3. Now, I can go ahead and show you the other method. I can work from the inside out. If you want to find g of negative 3, which would be negative 3 minus 3. I'm going to plug it in, use the g function, which gives me negative 6. And then you want to take that negative 6 and replace g of negative 3 with negative 6. That gives me f of negative 6, which then I have 4 times negative 6 squared minus 3 times negative 6 minus 9. So I have 4 times 36 plus 18 minus 9. 4 times 36. 144 plus 18 minus 9, which would give me 
153. Notice how you get the same solution either method. 153 and 153. Okay, so you can do it either way, um, but both ways will work. Sometimes if there is an X in it though, you do have to be able, instead of a number, you do have to be able to find this value. 